San Antonio, the third. Trying to will this shot in. He takes a stop back and just knocks it down. Green on Paul. And God, he got it! One second left. Clippers by two. Step. You see he's limping. He's hurt. He can't even explode off of that leg, but he does. Wheels the ball in. Chris Paul knocking it down. One point. Is it okay for all of us to breathe now? Yeah, yeah, you know, this was an emotional win. Uh, that team right there is unbelievable. Um, it's a shame that this was the first round, you know, and uh, backs were against the wall time and time again, but we kept finding a way. I know you wanted to pull Blake Griffin into this interview and he had to go elsewhere, but I mean, how impressed are you with your team and the way that they kept the composure down the stretch? Doc telling you guys, just breathe, just breathe. Yeah, uh, I kept telling BG when I, did whatever to my hamstring to just bring us home, you know, and on that last play, I felt it pretty good right there. So uh, just a good win for us, but uh, we can't be done now. And you send the defending champions home packing in the first round. We saw the hugs between the both teams. What did you say to Tim Duncan there? I uh, told him how much I love him, man. I didn't know Tim since I was 11 years old. Me and his nephew played on the same AAU team. So uh, Everybody always knows the Wake Forest connection, but he's been like a mentor, a big brother to me since I've been in the league. So you, you hate to see that team going home, but. But they are, and then the Clippers are advancing to Houston. Um, Chris, you left in the second quarter with the hamstring injury. I mean, I think the entire building held their breath, but you came back in and it looked like you would not be stopped. How did you do it, Chris? I said after game six that we had the best training staff in the league. Uh, Jason Powell, our head trainer, they unbelievable, man. They, they did whatever they had to do to get me back out there. I'll be living with them until Monday. Uh...